Hey guys, Stephanie from Mrs. D's Corner. I'm making do with the space that I have right now, so welcome. I am so excited today to show you guys this Tacket stuff. So I learned about this on Instagram a couple of weeks ago, and I was like, no, like there's no way it's gonna replace Velcro, like this isn't a thing. And then I kept seeing it over and over and over and over again. So I bought some on Amazon. I wanna say it was like less than eight bucks for this little bottle, um, which seems expensive. But when I show you like how much you need to make it work, you're gonna be like, holy buckets, that's pretty crazy. Like I need to try this stuff. So what I'm gonna do with you is kind of tell you what I did and what I used it on. And then I'm also gonna kind of talk to you about like my thoughts on this because I haven't really used it in the classroom, right, with a bunch of different types of resources. So just with my general experience, I'm gonna share with you like what I think it would be good for and what I think you probably should still be using Velcro for. Um, but it's definitely gonna save you some money on some of your activities, your, like your, um, your laminated activities and things like that. So this is called Tacket. And really what it is, it's just like a glue. And it makes, um, you put it on your laminated material, you let it sit until it goes clear. So it comes out white and you wait until it goes clear and then um, it literally will stick and restick and restick to things. So here is, I just printed out an adapted book. I have a hack for this though, because I'm gonna tell you the whole story. So I printed out an adapted book and I laminated all of the pieces and then you can see Oh, I'm like backwards, but you can see the little dot there and that's the tacket. So you know that it's ready to be used when it's kind of clear. It comes out white, like legitimately the color of white. Okay, so laminate your stuff and then um, the pieces that you're gonna be moving, you will use your tacket on. So, okay, I did adapted books. So this is, what is this? Life cycle of a crawfish, crayfish, crawdad, mud bug, whatever you wanna call them. <laughs> Um, because it's starting to be crawfish season and I'm pretty pumped about it. Um, so when you would use, I should have pulled one of my Velcro books out, but so when you would use Velcro, right, you would do your two strips here and then on each page you would do your little Velcro dot and then um, on the answer pieces you would do your two dots and your extra dot here. So with this stuff, using this Tacket glue, so I think that the Tacket glue is gonna be amazing for our adapted books because it's gonna save you so much Velcro, okay? You don't need to buy all of the Velcro and have Velcro on every page. You don't need to have the sticky tack on every page. All you need the sticky tack on are the answer pieces. I know, mind blown. When I was thinking about it, I was like, how am I going to have like 32 pages of a book? Where am I gonna put all of these pages when they're drying? Like. I was like, this is not gonna work. And then I'm thinking like, I don't need to have Tacket on every single page because the answer pieces are gonna have the Tacket, okay? So I'm gonna show you just real quick. So there's no Velcro. All I have on the back of these is the Tacket. Now, what I will say and what I'm not sure about, so somebody please pop in, like if you've used this stuff and you're like a master Tacket, you know, hacker or whatever you wanna call it. The one thing I did notice with, so with um, kids that I've had in my classroom that are like pickers, they pick at everything, you can pick it off of the, like, it's just like, okay, so you know when you get like a new credit card or, or something in the mail and it comes on that piece of paper and it has like that sticky glue on the back, that is the perfect analogy for what this stuff is. So they can still peel it off of the back of your laminated materials. So just FYI, they can still peel it off but basically for adapted books, and like you could totally use these for adapted work binders too, you would just put your tacket on the back of your answer pieces. Same for task boxes, you would put the tacket on the backs of your answer pieces. Um, you don't need anything like on the actual work pages of adapted work binders. You don't need any tacket on the actual adapted book work pages or the actual task cards themselves. You put the tacket on the back of all the answer pieces, okay? So as you're working through it, you're gonna be like, okay, crawfish, crayfish, what, what are you gonna call them, crawdads? Crayfish are omnivorous, nocturnal crustaceans that are cousins to the lobster. So then they're gonna move the piece off of the side, just like in a traditional adaptive work binder, and move it over here. Like, that's it. Guys, I'm mind blown by this stuff, okay? So funny story. Well, hold on, let me finish this first, and then I'll tell you the funny story, because my mom came to the rescue, and y'all are gonna be like, more mind blown, okay. So you just literally go through and they move the pieces like a traditional adapted book. 
So I would imagine that this, how long do you think this would last? Like I don't even know how many dots you could make out of this stuff. You could probably make a lot of dots. It's gonna save you a lot of Velcro and a lot of money. So definitely give it a shot. I'll link it up after this so you guys can just find it right on Amazon. But you just, I mean, move it over. And if it, if you, I've noticed when I was putting these in here, I'm gonna push really hard for a minute. If you push really, really hard on it, it might get stuck to the answer page, like to the actual page. Oh, see it did. See how it's still stuck on the page? But you just take it off and put it back on here. Like you can just move it, it's repositionable. It's the coolest stuff ever. So, okay, here is my like moment. So um, my mom came over one day and I had this on the table and she was like, what are you gonna use that for? Like, what are you using it for? So background story, my mom used to own a scrapbook store and she's very into like crafts and scrapbooking and stuff like that. And I was like, okay, um, well, this is what I'm using it for. I'm gonna try and see, you know, how it works. She goes, well, I use it all the time in scrapbooking so she can like reposition pictures and stuff. And I'm like, cool. Okay, she goes, yeah, you just get some, um, oh man, what's the name of it? Um, I had to go buy some because I didn't have any. You go buy this paper, parchment paper, you go buy parchment paper at the grocery store or Walmart or wherever, and you put the dots on the parchment paper and then you just peel them off when you need them. So, because that's one thing I was thinking, I was like, man, when you're prepping a resource, you're gonna print it and typically you're gonna, like, I would typically probably like prep it like a day or two, right? So. You prep the pieces and my my I made my dots so big that they had to sit for two nights because they're white and you have to wait till they go clear. And actually here, I'll do a spot on this page um, to show you. So um, you do a little dot. You can do it on your laminated paper or on parchment paper, it works the same. So my dots were like that big, right? And you just set them out to dry over um, however long it takes, 24, 48 hours, and then when they're this clear and you can kind of see through them, that's when they're ready to use. Okay, that's when you know that it's fully dried. So I'm thinking like, man, this is gonna take like a lot of time to wait. Like there's gotta be a better way to like batch this or do something. So then my mom told me that. I was like, this is genius. So really, all you need to do is buy the glue, right? Get yourself some parchment paper and make a bunch, can you see the dots? Make a bunch of dots on the parchment paper and just put another piece of parchment paper on top of it or literally stack it like this to store it and then you're ready to go. So whenever you prep an adapted book, you don't have to wait 24 or 48 hours for this stuff to be ready to dry and to use. You can literally take your dots that are already dried because you've already made them off the parchment paper and stick them on the back of an answer piece and they're ready to go. Like. Are you mind blown? Cause I'm still mind blown by this stuff. Like this is genius. Um, so you can do it that way. So then yesterday, okay, another mind blown moment that I haven't tested out yet, but they say it works. Yesterday I posted in the group, I posted the video of this, right? And I was like, I'm gonna pop into the group. And um, someone commented and she said, yeah, I just do like, I take a brush and I brush it on the back so that it's not so thick and you have thin, thinner lines, but it's still sticky. So I was like, wow, like I wonder if that like really works, like how thin does it have to be? Like my mind's going through all the questions, right? Y'all know that I like have so many questions about all the things all the time. So what I did was this morning, I did this this morning, guys. Um, I took the glue and I made a dot, right? So I made the dot and then I just, I'm not gonna put my finger in it because I don't have anywhere else to wipe it right now. You just like, if you could take like a sponge or just use your, I just use my finger, smear it, right? Can you guys see these little, there we go. Do you see them? Okay, so don't trust me because I haven't peeled this off yet and I haven't tested this, but the lady that posted on my video yesterday about me doing this live and saying it works, she said it works, guys, and she just does it on the back of her pieces. Okay, hold on. Dear Tacket Glue, please work. I'm thinking because it's so thin, shut the front door. I mean, it's very, very thin, so it's gonna, I bet if you balled it up, hold on, hold on. Let me take this piece off. Do you see it? It looks like skin. All right, hold on. I would imagine if you put it on the piece and like did that first, it would work much better because then kids couldn't really peel it off. So I just kind of stuck it. It looks like skin, but so do that on the back. Maybe don't do that on the parchment paper, but it still works. Ha ha! Check me out, guys. 
Oh, it's stuck to the, the page. Yeah, but that works. I like the dots better. I would imagine if I had painted it on the back of this with like something else, that would have worked much better than doing the parchment paper, but the parchment paper works for the dots, guys. So, hacks. Do the dots on your parchment paper and make a whole bunch ahead of time. You can see them, there we go. Have to get it right in the light here. Do your dots on parchment paper, let them dry, and then just stack the pieces and put a piece of parchment paper over top so they don't get stuck to something else. Then you have a bunch of these dots ready to go and use when whatever you want, or if like one gets, see, I don't know if you, if how many times like you have to touch them until they're not sticky anymore. I'm very curious about that. Maybe I'll have to do an experiment like I did the lamination experiment, but definitely parchment paper, do your dots, and then do the, um, see, it does roll up into a ball when, when you take it off of the parchment paper. Try the, um, try the wiping it on the back and see, I'll, I'll try it and I'll report back. I'll print something else or I'll take some of these pieces and paint some on the back, like smear it to make it thinner. I'll try it. I'll report back, but yes. So tack it. Love it. That's how it works. What I would use it on. So I don't think it's going to replace Velcro altogether. Okay, we're gonna have a little sped chat right now. I don't think that the tacket's gonna replace Velcro altogether. Adapted books, absolutely. Um, adapted work binders, absolutely. Um, adapted piece book sets, yeah, why not? Because, oh, yes, because then your books, you know when you make the adapted piece book sets, so you have the book and you tape all the pieces in, and then you put the Velcro in and it makes the book really fat? It's not gonna be fat anymore because you're not gonna have all the Velcro in there. So yes, absolutely adapt to piece book sets. I'll try to, I'll prep one. I'll prep one and report back. Um, task boxes, absolutely. What are some other things that like we prep with Velcro that maybe, so like visual schedules, you could use that, you could use the tacket um, depending on where they are, I think. Like depending on if you have them in like in a binder or if they're on like the wall or something. Um, completely dry, we've put our pieces in baggies. Okay, do they stick to the baggie? You could use them for file folders, yeah. Pex books, why not? Absolutely. Um, I mean, you could really use this for so many things. So many things. I don't, I really don't think it's gonna replace Velcro altogether, but it's a much cheaper alternative to it because Velcro gets expensive when you're Velcroing all of the things, especially those little dots when you're putting like 40 dots in a book. Yeah, tack it's gonna be your way to go because you pay $8 for like this, right? And then, um, I mean, I don't even know how many dots you could do with this. I'm super intrigued. Like I kind of wanna buy another bottle and just like make dots endlessly and to see how many that it makes. That would be a nice experiment, but I feel like I waste a lot of my time. Um, but yeah, so do the pieces not stick together in task boxes, the smaller photo size boxes? So my suggestion, if you're going to do task boxes, so like with, um, like the adapted book and the adapted workbooks, they all have like, what do we want to call Like this has the base here to where they stick to. So I wouldn't, what I, Ooh, we have a piece here. Where did it come from? Probably from my piece over here. So they will stick together. Like they are sticky. So I just put two pieces together. They do come apart, so that's not really an issue. But my suggestion for like task boxes and things like that, you can stack like your answer pieces like this. So I would suggest either doing this and stacking your answer pieces so that they just like take one off and then use that, right? Do it that way. Or I mean, and how I store my answer pieces anyway for task boxes is they're all on the cards. And then before the kids do the activity, either the pair of myself or the child will take all the answer pieces off and then separate them and then they'll do the activity. So it's like a fine motor activity mixed into another fine motor activity of the task box. Um, so that would be my suggestion, but you could totally still use them in, in, in task boxes, yeah. Um, I'm gonna scroll really quick and see if there's any other questions. So I saw a lot of things coming up. Um, Oh, Taylor, tell me, she said, I just popped in. So sorry if you haven't already covered this. How many, has anyone been able to actually get it to work? We tried it all different ways and nothing worked for us. What do, what do you mean? You, what, 
I have so many questions. We tried it to work. What different ways did you try to make it work? Because we just, I showed, if you watched like the beginning of the video, I showed you how I did it. And then um, it like there's, they're actually have on the back of these and you move them into the book. So, um, and send me a message if like we can chat about it. I'm curious. Nothing, I want to know what we can figure it out. Um, file a folder closes and it does not get stuck and our pieces go in the bag in the back of the folder. That's smart. So put it, tack it on the folder. Okay, so Lynn says file folders. Put the tack it on the file folder itself, not the back of the answer pieces. That way you can still store your answer pieces in the baggie on the back. And then when you close the folder, it's fine because it's still gonna be inside the folder. That's genius. Thank you, Lynn, for that. I love that idea. So file folders, put the tack it on the actual file folder. Like when you open it up, put it on the actual file folder, not the answer pieces. Um, what else? Yes, Ashley says she's had it in her, her Amazon cart for weeks, ready to commit to purchase. <laughs> do it, do it. I was skeptical at first too. I was like, there's no way, there's no way. It works though. Like it took me probably four or five weeks to actually buy it, um, but it definitely works. Do the pieces not stick together in the task boxes? I already answered that question, Kayla, so I'm glad that I got that as you did it. Do the pieces not come off after the... Do the dots not come off the pieces after they've been pulled off the parchment paper? They do, like the dot, oh, see, perfect example. Um, I just pulled this answer piece off of here and the dot stuck, but they're repositionable. So it depends on one, how hard you push down, um, but you can take them off, like just take it back off and stick it back on the back of the answer piece or stick it back in the file folder or back in the book, wherever you put it. So they are repositionable. So it's not like a permanent stick that it's gonna stick there forever. Um, but you can reposition it and remove it. And that's why I'm saying like, if something happens to where one of your kids is working on something and they lose one of the dots, or God forbid a kid eats one um, or tastes one, or see, I don't know how long the dots last because I would sit if I were a kid and I would pick, like touch it and see how long it took until it wasn't sticky anymore. So that's why I'm saying make extra dots just in case. That's why I use the parchment paper to make extra dots. So like you don't have to wait, you know, a whole 24, 48 hours for, one dot for your adapted books, you can't use it again until then. So that's why I would use the the parchment paper to make extra dots to have on hand. Um, Kylie says she loves using it in her positive reinforcement charts. Yes, love that. Um, what else? Pack books, file folders, wall schedule. Yes, yes, love it, love it. The brand is called Tack It. I got it on Amazon. My mom says you can get it at craft stores. So like Joanne's Michaels. Is AC Moore still a thing? Uh, Hobby Lobby. I don't know where it's the cheapest. I just ordered it from Amazon because slash hashtag COVID and I didn't feel like going out. So Amazon for the win. Um, Lynn says we painted it on the file folder in a thin layer. They dry and you can close the folder. Okay, so Lynn is the one that suggested putting them in the file folder. She is also the one that paints them into the file folder. I love that idea because then they're not st super sticky. Lynn, you're genius. I am just like, pff, I'm mind blown right now by all of this, by all of this. I love it. Okay, so I think that's all the questions that y'all have asked. Let me check and see if there's any at the bottom because I didn't see anything. Um, yes. Okay, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to throw them into the group and we can chat about it. Um, I will post, I'll post a picture of this in the group and you can put all of your questions there and I'll explain like how all of it works. This video, you can rewatch it at any time. I'll go back through and link the tacket for Amazon. So if you do want to grab it on Amazon, um, I will put that link there for you. And I think that's it, yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm so excited to have been here with you guys today and share this with you. I hope that it might, like you're mind blown by it too and it was like a complete game changer uh, because it was a complete game changer for me. So until next time, I will see you guys soon. Have a great rest of your day.